Good afternoon, friends. So yesterday I shared a lot about autoimmune diseases and living with it. For those who don't know me, I am Amanda Roberts and I am a single mom of two little boys. They're seven and eight. I am full-time in network marketing and I have two different autoimmune diseases. So today I'm going to share with you. I was so tired. I know I'm dealing with a flare up right now. And so this morning I took the kids to school and I came back home and I went back to sleep from like nine until 12. And so my one tip for you today is be sure to take care of your body and listen to it. It's not that I feel really bad. I just have not a lot of energy at the moment, but that's okay. I'm listening to my body, taking care of it, giving it what it needs. So with that, I just wanted to share a couple of things. First, do you guys have any vacations planned? Are you going anywhere this summer? Are you going uh, to visit family somewhere? Do you have a staycation planned? I know that I've um, really considered because we do week on week off and there's a couple of weeks my ex-husband has them two weeks in a row. So we um, have talked about going to possibly um, Great Wolf Lodge and just doing some fun little things around here. We were planning to go to California, but tickets are kind of high right now. So I think that we're gonna just postpone until the fall. My mom is going to come here in August. So I am going though without the kids on a cruise in July. Um, I'm going out of Orlando for a week and I'm going for the first time ever on Royal Caribbean. Um, I've been on three cruises. My last cruise, I was 20. I'm about to be 33, so it's been a couple of days. I This cruise goes to Labadee, Haiti, um, St. Martin, and, or St. Martin, and um, Puerto Rico. So I'm really excited. So comment below let me know do you guys have any local plans do you plan to go check off any sites or any trips planned Jenny do you got any trips planned to jump over the pond anyways I'm just super curious the one thing that I really want to emphasize is as it is summer um, I'm fortunate that I've never had to deal with skin cancer however it's been close to home many many times my grandfather my papa has had a lot of skin cancer cut off over the last few years. And even as someone that tans really well, I still wear sunscreen. I tend to get burnt once or twice, no matter how much sunscreen I put on. My one thing, and I really do, if you're watching this on the replay, please comment below. I, will, I, I need some more ideas um, of things to either plan in the future or little things to do. So if you guys can comment and let me know about where your travels may take you this summer. But remember to put on sunscreen. I am sharing this because I have to tell you guys, yes, I have a lot of friends on Facebook, but not, I mean, you can only have 5,000 friends. And you're not seeing everybody's stuff. You typically only see five to 7% of your Facebook friends at any given time. The, in the last 10 days, I have had three different friends. One, it was just, um, it was on her forehead and they did a biopsy and it came back um, basal cell. And the other two both had basal cell removed and off of their face. So three different people, we are only seeing five to 7% of our friends on Facebook. And I had three people in the last 10 days have skin cancer, all three basal cell carcinoma cut off their face. So if I could emphasize at all, um, one, it was about probably 30, so not very old. One is probably in her mid to late 30s, and the other one is in her early 40s. You guys, one of them talked about how it looked just like a pimple right here, and it looks like, you know that design like that's on um, handkerchiefs and stuff uh, that almost looks kind of like a Nike symbol? She had a big cut out of 
right here on her face. Another one was here and the other one, she has an appointment with a surgeon, but they've already confirmed it's basal cell right here. So I want to know where your travels are taking you this summer. And I want to emphasize, please wear sunscreen. I have always been someone that burns, so I always wear sunscreen, but the reality that three people between the ages of 30 and 45 have all had skin cancer removed, three different parts of the country, three different age ranges in the last 10 days is crazy. So take care of your body, pay attention to it, listen to it. If something's quirky or not right, get to the doctor. And with that, you guys, I've got to run. The boys have their last Friday live. So thanks for hopping on and be sure to comment below on what your plans are for the summer. Have a great day, you guys.